Hi guys, it's Rach. I am in love with this look on my face and today I'm going to show you guys how to do it using gorgeous cosmetics. I was sent a ridiculous amount of makeup from them. They were super, super generous and I thought that I could do a tutorial, a haul tutorial a tutorial? I don't know what to call it. Let me know what you think we should call this in the description box below, but it's an amalgamation of a tutorial and a haul. It's basically going to be a one brand makeup tutorial. I'm going to show you what I got. I'm going to give you some first impressions um, and let you know what I think. Okay, let's get started. I have here the first base foundation primer. This says that gorgeous skin starts with a perfect base. So that's what I want. I want gorgeous skin. I'm going to give this a go. We have a nice handy little pump here. Oh, I can see this is going to be one of those videos where I spend a ton of time pumping stuff up. No, that was pretty quick. Oh, this definitely feels like more like one of those more moisturizing primers, less uh, silicone-y. It has a little bit of a smell, nothing too strong. Just pop a bit on my eyes as well. Prime that area. Before we move on to foundation, I wanted to give this product a go. It's called the Liquid Face and Body Shimmer Superstar from Gorgeous Cosmetics and this is in the shade Bronze. I believe there's also a golden one as well. Another little pump there. I love the pumps. Quite, quite dark there. So I thought maybe I could use this under my foundation to give me a little bit of a bronzy glow. I'm just going to put it kind of where I would apply bronzer because I'm not sure how dark the color will be. It does seem to be... Um, blending into my skin quite nicely. I could see you really enjoying this product in the summer months. I might actually take like a duo fiber brush to spread this out. As you can see, it does have a bit of color to it. So if you're on the paler side, you probably want to be careful where you apply it. Now that we've got a bit of a bronzy glow going on, I do want to put some foundation on my skin because as you can probably tell, it's had a bit of a freak out, not looking its greatest. I've been really excited to try this one. This is the Base Perfect Liquid Foundation. I believe they only have one foundation uh, in the range, but then they've also got a BB cream and a CC cream. I've got a few different shades to try. I've got shade number 2C. Just dispersing a little bit. I don't know whether I want to go brush or beauty blender. Which should I use? Okay, you know what? I'm going to try a brush and then I can always go in with a beauty blender and um, see how we go. This one looks like it should be an okay match for my skin. I'm using my It Cosmetics uh, Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection Brush just to buff this in. I can already tell that this is a really like easily blendable foundation that just sort of melted into my skin straight away. It's also given quite decent coverage too, with just a thin layer. A bit like moisturizer, like it has a little bit of a baby powdery mixed with something else. I'm the worst at describing scents, but um, kind of like fresh laundry. Is that a scent? I don't know, but it smells good. It gives you quite a like, I don't know if I want to say airbrushed look, but it, it's a very kind of diffused, it's like the foundation diffuses the light. I don't know. Am I reading too much into it? I just, I'm looking at myself on the camera as well and I feel like the actual foundation um, looks quite good. I'm just using my beauty blender here to kind of build up the coverage on areas where I need a little extra help. I do have a concealer. This is the Conceal It Concealer. It comes in a little um, tube like this with a doe foot applicator. I got the shade Light Neutral, which I believe there are three shades in the bunch. It's a little bit limited, I find, in concealer color ranges. They have quite a few foundation shades, but only a few concealer shades. Start by just applying a little bit under the eyes. See what I mean by, whoa, super pale. So I think this is going to be one of those ones that if you really like your under eye highlight, you can get it with this one. I'm just going to pop a little bit there. I'd say the coverage is quite similar to something like the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It is pretty, pretty strong and I'm using very, very sort of light hand, small amounts here. Because it is so pale, I am going to pop a little bit just in the other areas of my face just to try and balance that out a little bit. I'm going to use my Beauty Blender just to blend it into the skin. I've just mixed the concealer with a little bit of the foundation to try and cover some of my blemishes just to even out that color a little bit, just deepen it so it's not too much of a stark contrast against my foundation. 
As for powders, I have here two of the custom eye palettes, I think they are. They just, they're eight pan palettes that you can get either pre-made or you can pick your own colors that you go in, I believe. I have two of them here. I have the contour palette, which I think you can use for both eyes and your face. If I can open it up there. It has a really large mirror, which is probably going to reflect my light. There you go. And then you have eight shades there, all different shades. These are more contouring shades. You have here um, potato cake, which starts from this side, potato cake, true taupe, um, matte tan, dusk rose, nude, smudge, um, fudge, and mocha. I think I'll use the shade nude just on my beauty blender, just to set my under eye concealer just so that doesn't um, crease on me. Since I don't have any Gorgeous Cosmetics brow products, I thought I could mix True Taupe and Fudge together to create a bit of a brow powder. We're going to see how it goes. I'm just going to brush them through with a spoolie first. I'm mainly using that fudge shade just in the tail of my brow and then using the lighter taupe shade as I move closer to the head of the brow. Just setting that in place with a little bit of clear brow gel. So, should we move on to the eyes next? Let's do that. I'm just going to use whatever's left on my beauty blender just to conceal my eyes. I'm having an idea in my head and it's probably going to be a little bit messy, so I'm just going to tape my eyes off. You can always just sort of freehand it and clean up with concealer later if you would prefer. For the eyeshadows that I use, I also have a second of these uh, eight customized palettes. This one is the Blush Highlight Palette. So you have another eight shades here. This one has obviously more lighter, blushy type highlight type shades. We have Potato Cake, Nude, Peach Glow and Rhubarb. And then we start down here with Natural, Toffee Shine, Sesame and Apple. Some really, really pretty shades there. I'm going to start by taking this shade here, Natural, and just on a fluffy brush. Oh, that kicked up quite a lot of powder. So make sure you tap that one off. And I'm just going to run this sort of all over the lid, all the way up to the brow bone. It's a bit of a, just to set any of the liquid product that we have on the skin. This one has a little bit of a sheen to it, so I'm going to use this as a brow bone highlight while we're at it. With your same fluffy brush, going to the contour palette this time and taking the shade Smudge, tapping off any excess, and then just lightly dusting this through the crease. We're not going for super um, neat or anything like that. Just really blend that in, buff it into the skin. I want to do a bit of a smudged out kind of lash line, bit of a smoky eye. So I'm going to take the Carbon Black Ink Liquid Eye Pencil from Gorgeous Cosmetics. It's just a normal sort of sharpener black pencil. I'm actually going to tight line with this and then really push it in between the lashes. I'm thickening up the line just at the outer corner. Not too much because I have no idea how far this will smudge. But given how soft it is, I have a feeling it's going to spread out pretty well. And just taking a small smudger brush, this is the Sigma Exact Blend E32. I'm just going to start smudging this line out a little bit, kind of winging it out into that tape. Going back in with some more pencil, darkening up that line. And then I'm going to just blend it out some more. This is going to be one of those build, blend, build, blend kind of eye looks. Once you've kind of got them both built up to about the same intensity, I'm just taking a clean brush. This is the Sigma Medium Sweeper E54 and just kind of softening that line without any extra product right on the ends there. I received one of these individual Color Pro eyeshadows. This is in the shade Violet Satin, which is oh, so beautiful. This gorgeous kind of plummy brown shade love 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 this. I'm going to use that medium sweeper brush taking just a small amount of the product and I'm just going to start blending this sort of back into that black and then across the lid. I'm just sort of bringing this in almost halfway. This is a stunning stunning eyeshadow shade. Back in with that fluffy brush and smudge again. 
that we used in the crease and I'm just going to use this to just kind of blend the shade out. Using that exact blend brush that has the black on it, I'm just adding this just to the outer corner just to deepen the shade up a bit more. You can even sort of go back in with a little bit more pencil right on that outer corner if you want to. And I do. <laughs> I want to keep the inner part of the eye relatively bare. I am going to go in with a little bit of this shade from the blush highlight palette Toffee Shine. Just on a soft brush. Just so this has a little bit of something so it doesn't fade into completely nothing. My original plan was to leave this look quite smudgy smoky but I do want to define that lash line a little bit more so I received the Eyeline Eyeliner Pen which is their liquid liner. I thought I could give this a shot just across the lash line. It's like a flexible felt tip liner. Paying super close attention, I always have my mouth open and this like really concentrated face. I want to try and keep the line as thin as possible, really hugging that lash line. I've pulled the tape off and I've got quite a sharp line on both sides. I do want to soften that shite, shitely, shitely, slightly. Why can't I speak today? I've removed the tape and I'm now going to take the Furless Pro 6M brush and a little bit of the fudge shade from the contour palette. And I'm just going to start running this just along the lower lash line, kind of dragging it up a little bit just to soften the outer edge of this line. You can keep your wings really sharp if you'd prefer. I just prefer a slightly um, smudged out look. On a small tapered blending brush, I'm just going to take a little bit of this matte tan shade. And I'm going to use this just to soften and smudge out that lower lash line. Just so it's got something to blend into. That's a bit of warmth too, which I like. Final eyeshadow before we do lashes, I'm going to take the potato cake shade from the blush and highlight palette and I'm just going to pop this in the inner corner. This is a matte shade but it is light so it's just going to add a little bit of light to this area and I'm blending this up right up the bridge of my nose. Okay, I was sent three sets of lashes to play with. These are the Madam Lashes. I have the Madam Mini Lash. These are really cute. They say mini but I think they kind of remind me of the uh, Demi Wispies by Ardell. have a little bit of a flare on the outside. I like those. I also have the uh, Madame Lash Janes, which are kind of really long, like lengthening lashes. I think they're quite, quite defined. And then I also have here the Madame Lash Miss Naughty, which again kind of have that cat eye look to them. I think I'm going to go... Ooh, what do I want? I think I'm going to go with the Miss Naughty lashes. So I'm going to pop on a bit of mascara and these on as well. I've got to say, I love those lashes. They were really easy to apply, had a really thin band. They even came with a glue, which I didn't expect. It smells a bit chemically, but it doesn't stink like fish at all. So big thumbs up there for those lashes. While that glue is drying, let's finish off the rest of the face. I'm feeling quite flat at the moment. I'm going to go back to that custom eye contour palette and I'm going to take the shade Smudge. This does have a slight sheen to it, but it, it's the color that I would think is the most contour-like for my liking. So I'm going to see how it goes. Just softly dusting that into the hollows of my cheeks. These powders are so pigmented. They seem to blend really well as well. I'm also going to take a little bit of the smudge shade just along the temples. Sort of really buffing that into the skin there. Hide those double chins. And then whatever's left on my brush, I'm just going to run down the sides of my nose. I don't really want to bronze the skin too much, but to warm up the complexion and blend out a bit of that contour, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and take a little bit of this matte tan and the true taupe shade, just kind of mixing them together. I'm just going to softly swirl that, the backs of my cheekbones, just sort of up across the forehead a little bit. I really like how versatile that these palettes have um, turned out to be. For blush, we have these two shades that are part of the contour palette, and then we also have the four shades that are in the blush and the highlight palette. I'm going to take, I think, a little bit, maybe I'll just mix the two. And I'm just going to plop this at the back of my cheekbones, 
For a little extra pop, and because I like the way that peach tones go with sort of plummy tones, I'm going to take this shade, which is called Peach Glow. Just a little bit. I'm just going to pop this just on the apples of my cheeks. Okay, to do a little bit of highlighting, we do have this shade here, which we used earlier on. This is the... Um, what is this called? The Natural Shade, which actually has a little bit of visible glitter in it. It's not too intense. So I am just going to take a small amount of this on just a small brush. I'm just going to run this along the center of my nose, just on the tip there, buff a little bit in the tops of my cheekbones as a subtle-ish highlight. If you do absolutely hate any kind of glitter, then you could always just go for this shade here, which is completely matte, if you want to go for a matte highlight. Or even this shade here, if you have deeper skin, I think this would make a beautiful satin um, highlight, I think in the summertime. That would be stunning when I have a little bit more of a tan. A little bit on the cupid's bow as well. And then we have lips. So I have a few lip liners. I've got a few different lip products. I'm going to have to just try and mix them together. I have here three shades, Barely There, Kiana, which is Sharon Farrell's one of her favorites. She talks about it a lot, so I was really, really excited to try that. And then I also have, just hiding down here, Manhattan. So there we have the shade swatched there. Manhattan is a really deep, plummy shade. Then we have uh, Kiana, which is that mauvey, pinky, neutral shade. And then we have Barely There, which is a little bit more um, pink-brown shade, a little bit deeper than Kiana. I think... I really like Kiana, but I think I'm going to go barely there and maybe sort of do a bit of a nude lip with like a deeper color lip line and then a slightly lighter lipstick. These are really, really creamy. Then I was also sent some lipsticks. I have, I think, about five or six shades. They were so, so generous. I'm going to swatch these for you as well. So the first shade that we have here is Shiraz, which is a really nice kind of wine berry shade. Very Rachel winter color. Next we have Mauve, which as the name suggests is a mauve shade. Really, really nice. We have Paris, which is this pink shade in the middle there. That's really, really gorgeous. I think that would be beautiful for the summer. Then we have Whimsy, which is kind of similar to Mauve, maybe a little bit more pink. These ones are a little bit sheerer as well. And then the last shade we have is Bear, which is just a gorgeous nude shade, kind of that nude, slightly pinky, slightly mauve slightly like neutral color. I'm really not sure which one I'm going to use. I think I might go with Bear to begin with. Let's just see. Feels really creamy. They have a slight scent, kind of that kind of baby powdery slash lipsticky scent. And then the last couple of lip products they gave me were these uh, Liquid Lips Lip Lacquers. I have two shades to show you. The first one is Malted, which I can already see is that like Kylie Jenner plummy, neutrally pinky brown shade. I don't know, I'm just I'm throwing out colors now. It's that movie brown pink shade. And then the other shade that I got was Natural, which is a similar shade. I think this one's a little bit more pink. And maybe, yeah, it's a little bit more pink in tone there. And a little bit more pale. Very, very opaque, which is um nice. That's that one there. Really, really pretty. You know what? I might pop just a little bit of this in the center. A little bit of added sheen. So I've just taken my hair down and that is the finished look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, tutorial, tutorial haul, whatever we're going to call it. All in all, it's just been a great introduction to the brand for me and I'm looking forward to trying some more gorgeous cosmetics products. If you've tried any of these or any from the range that you think you would like me to try, recommend. If you'd like to see any more of the products, definitely let me know in the comments below um, so I can check out your recommendations or I can use some of these other shades or these products again in future videos, future makeup tutorials or um, do more in-depth reviews once I've had a chance to really play with them. Other 
than that, I will have a list of the products mentioned and shades and prices for your information. There will also be some links to where you can pick up the products. I know that they're available in Sephora Australia. They also have a US website and an Australian website. And I think they may even be have like a store in Melbourne somewhere and maybe in some other places. So any information that I can give you will be in the description box as well as all my own social media links. Come say hi to me there. I really would appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me and subscribe if you're new and haven't already. Hi, welcome. I'm going to go. I will see you guys all next time. Bye.